Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video that I did for you today. Um, it is a little bit more dramatic than I normally do. I've been doing this eye look. Um, I posted a picture of it on Instagram the other day and a couple people commented on it and wanted to see a video. So I decided to do that. I really like this look. Um, I have been doing it during the day, just minus the lashes. So you don't have to do them if you don't want to. Um, these are the Coco Lashes. And I really, really like them. Um, I did trim them down a lot just so they would fit my eye. Um, but I really like the way they turned out. I really like the way this look turned out with the lashes. Um, I also am loving this new lip color by ColourPop. It's Marshmallow um, in their Satin Lip. So I hope you guys enjoy this look that I decided to do for you. And also I hope you enjoy this video. So first we're going to be starting off with my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Anastavi Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Pomade. And I'm just going to be lightly filling in my brows today. I'm going to go a little lighter up front to keep that natural look and just fill in any places that are blank. Then I'm going in with my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer and I'm going to be using a little concealer brush to clean up those brows. I'm going to bring this down onto my eyelid and use this as a primer today. Then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just blend this out. I do have a few little spurs hairs. I would normally have those plucked, but I'm trying to grow them out a little thicker, so I'll have to deal with them for now. Then, going in with the eyes, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Kari Bible Palette. And I'm going to be using these redder shades here. First, I'm going to go in with this shade here and just set my eyes. To do that, I'm just going to be using a Luxie Blending Brush. And you just want to make sure you set that concealer that way or primer whatever you're using. Nothing is too sticky and it blends really well together. Then I'm going in with my It Cosmetics Crease Brush and I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Find this in my crease and upper crease area. And you always want to start out like this with a lighter shadow that's kind of in the same color range or any type of transition shade. That way it helps everything blend together and you don't get like one color and another line and then another. It's all blended and looks very even and smoothed out. So you want to start light and go darker. And also if you're using really dark shades that will help keep it from looking like you've been punched in the face and have a black eye. So then I'm going in with a more defined crease brush and this one is by City Color and I'm going to be using that darker red maroon shade there. And you just want to apply a little bit at a time to make sure it's all blended well and you don't get any line that's too intense. I'm also going to take this shade on the outer corner of my eye. These shades are really easy to blend out and they are very pigmented, they last a long time. I don't really notice them fading throughout the day. I've been really impressed with this palette. Then I'm going in with a blending brush. I'm going to be using that Luxie one again. I did clean it off and I'm going to be going back in with this light shade here. It's just a very light brown and using it as a blending brush to kind of bring everything together. And then I'm going in with this lightest shade that we use to set our eye face. And I'm going to be using it under my brow as a highlight. I'm not going in with anything shimmery today just because I do have those couple stray hairs. Um, so I don't want to intensify those in any way and make them stand out more. Then for our lid color today, we are going in with a makeup 
Geek Shadow, and it is in the shame shade Charmed. It's one of their foiled shadows. This, I love this. Um, the other day I used it on top of like a green base that I had underneath, and it just kind of really brings out any color that you have underneath it, as well as giving, giving your eye look that really nice silver color. I love the shadow. Um, so we're going to be using that today. I'm going to be using a little bit of Max Fix Plus. The brush that I'm using today is by City Color, and it's just a little flat lid um, brush. It's the CCE07. I love this one because it's so small so it's really easy to just get right on to this part of the lid when I'm not wanting to cover up all of it. So I'm going to take the shadow um, and then spritz a little bit of Fix Plus on the brush. That way you don't ruin your shadow after dips, getting your brush wet and then applying it. Um, this will keep it from getting ruined. And as you can see here, this is very pigmented. It's very beautiful. You wouldn't have to use the Fix Plus, but it just helps make it a little bit more intense in that metallic shade that I'm going for. And after you have that packed on to your liking, I'm going back in with that blending brush, and we're going to blend this outer edge into that shade so that there's no harsh lines in between the two. Okay, and I did wait to apply my face makeup, so I'm going to go do that now, but that's when I'm going to clean up this area. Um, if you had already applied your foundation, you could use tape, but I don't have any, so I did it this way, but it just allows you to wipe this away. You can use like a makeup wipe or your finger if it's not too bad. Um, but I will probably, I just use a makeup wipe to wipe underneath here and this part of my eye to clean that up. And then I apply my face makeup. So I'll be back in a second to finish this look. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I did want to show this part because I did receive the RCMA No Color Powder. I am very excited. Um, this is the second time I've used it. I'm going to use it today more as a baking method just because it is so thin. I want to see if it works better that way than some of the other powders. Um, I don't really like baking under my eyes, but I want to try and see how it works out with this. So I just applied my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade 117 and then I went in with a um, cream contour color and then I went in with my favorite bronzer and that is the um, Butter Bronze by Physicians Formula. I love this, I love the smell of it um, and I just use that on top to kind of set that and just keep it more natural looking. So I'm going to be taking the RCMA color powder and my um, Beauty Blender. This is the Real Techniques and this is kind of hard to use. Um, eh, it's going to put a little bit in the cap. The packaging on this is not great but for the price you can't really beat it. And I'll mess. I'd rather have not so good packaging but maybe an excellent product. So I'm just going to apply this under my eyes very thickly. And I'm also going to be applying this to clean up that contour area as well. I'm also going to set right here because in the summer I seem a bit more, a little bit kind of oily in that area. So I'm going to set that to keep that nice and dry. Let me know if you have used this product. I know it was out of stock for a really long time, but I was able to get it on camera ready. Um... I think it's Camera Ready Cosmetics or CameraReady.com, um, and it is only $12 for this little bottle. They do have a larger size bottle of it that I think is like 20 but I haven't been able to get 10 ounces, whereas this is 3 um, but I don't think it's back in stock anywhere. So let me know if you do see the other ones in stock or if you have purchased this and you love it as well. Um, comment down below and let me know. I'm going to let this sit for about 3 to 4 minutes. Alright, so it's been a couple minutes and now I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. tapered brush and wipe this away. I really feel like it lightened those areas up, most definitely. And I don't see the normal, I have really fine lines under my eyes, but I don't see like the normal cakiness that baking usually does with other powders that I've tried. But that's the great thing about this powder and that really did clean up that line. Just because it's so finely mil milled, 
it's so little and fine that it seems to work really well and it has no color so it's not really gonna change the color of your look um, I do feel like it brightened it up maybe a little bit but it's still I don't think it actually changed the color um, so I do really like that product I'm really impressed with that pot product and especially for the price I mean I've heard bit people I've never tried the L'Oreal the Lori Mercy A powder um, but I've heard that it's this is better some people like it just as much some people like it more so um, if you're like me and you don't want to purchase the more expensive one when I can get this you could definitely just purchase this one we're gonna go in with the same shades that we used out of the Carly Bible palette these two here and apply those under the eyes and I'm going to keep it darker on the outer edge. And I did get a new camera lens. Um, so I hope this video turns out really well. It's the first time I've used it. Um, in the viewfinder, it looks a little bit clearer to me. So I like that. Um, I like that it seems to focus a little bit better closer up. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below how you like it. And that's it for the under eyes. And then I'm going to go into the inner corner um, with that same color we applied to the shade from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use some more Max Fix Plus and just really intensify that inner corner highlight. Then for eyeliner today, I'm going to be using a black liner in my waterline. And this is the Doshé Cosmetics Ultra Precision Eyeliner. I got this in, I think it was an Ipsy bag, and I have really fell in love with this. It works really well for that waterline, and it stays a long, really long time. Then for my top lashes, I'm going to be doing a very thin wing liner because I am going to be applying lashes today, so I need a line to just kind of hide the band. I'm going to try this new liner out today. I usually use the Made You Look Night Owl liner, um, but I received this Starlux Pro liner, which is the same felt tip type pen, um, in my BoxyCharm. So I'm going to be using this today and see, oops, wrong end. That's a mess. And see how I like this. It's just a very precision felt tip. <laughs> well, it doesn't come off because I got some on my fingers and it's not smudging. So I like that. That's not good though because that's not going to come off now. So I'm going to be using these Coco Lashes today. Um, I'm going to have to trim them and apply them off camera. But they are in the they're Coco Lashes by Coco. But first, I'm going to be using my mascara, and I'm also going to be curling my lashes. I feel like curling my lashes with fake lashes just kind of helps blend them together and get them at the same shape. My L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara today. I think it's easy to say that this mascara is one of my favorite mascaras for the lashes on the bottom lash line because it's so little that it's so easy to apply and not make a mess. Also, the one thing I did keep forgetting is my brow gel. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I usually apply this before I apply the brow pomade. It does kind of help it stick a little bit better, um, but I forgot. You can also use hairspray. That's another little trick, um, but I really like this brow gel, and it's only a dollar. Um, it is the e.l.f. brand. So this is the finished look. Um, I really like these lashes. I did trim them down a lot because they are very long. Um, I didn't trim the length though. I just trimmed how long they were so they fit on my eyes a little bit better. But I really do like the way this look turned out. Um, it's been kind of my go-to look um, more recently. I do do it with and without the lashes though. So if you want it to be more of a daytime um, kind of fun look, you don't have to add the lashes. But I wanted to do that for the purpose of this video. But I really do like the way this look turned out. It's just beautiful. It really makes your eyes pop, especially the green eyes. Um, I love adding the dark color to the waterline and just that silver color. It just really picks up almost the specks of any color that you have added with it. So I think it's just a beautiful color. 
But let's head on to the lips today. I'm going to be using one of the new ColourPop shadows. These two here are their ultra matte shades. I just purchased these with a couple of the new satin lips. Um, I don't think I'm going to use... I don't know that one. I like that. I might try that one. And then these two here are out of their new satin lip line. Um, I don't normally go for colors like this, but it just really popped out at me. I love this color. It's in um, marshmallow. I have yet to wear it, so we'll see. And then this one here um, is another satin lip. It's in magic wand, which I really like this one as well. I think I'm going to try the marshmallow. I wouldn't normally do such a kind of a different lip for me with this bold eye look. Um, but I'm going to try it today. I really like the purple with that gray. I actually like that. I actually really like this lip color. And I don't know why because it's so different. And I normally don't go for different shades. But I, this lip color just... I normally wouldn't even buy this, but it just popped out at me, and I love it. I love the shade. I think it's almost like that grayish undertone to it, with the purple. I love it. I love it with the silver. So we're going to stick with this lip look. Um, let me know how you guys like the new ColourPop um, liquid lipsticks. Um, they have the matte ones, which they've had for a little while, and then now the satin ones, which I really do like. That's what this one is. I really just like the formula of these liquid lipsticks. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm also thinking about maybe doing a giveaway, um, but I can't really think of anything. There's so many good products out there right now. Um, Tarte's come out with a bunch of new things. Um, the ColourPop liquid lipsticks would be something maybe. I don't know. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see as a giveaway. Um, I might do it whenever I hit 100 subscribers. So that's be sure to subscribe and don't forget to like the videos if you enjoyed them. Um, I hope you guys do. Don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. going in with my MAC, um, then I'm going in with my MAC sliver, and I will also